Project Zomboid exploded in popularity as of late, mostly due to a highly anticipated update. Peering into its past though, we see that it's been stagnating in early access for nine years. So, why should you invest time into a game that has been seemingly stuck in development limbo? In the very loose words of Captain Binky, Project Zomboid is the answer to what would you do in a zombie apocalypse? Project Zomboid is an open world zombie apocalypse simulator with weighty role playing mechanics. It's completely open ended and an unforgiving sandbox where death is permanent, but your actions are at least persistent. You play a character of your design with the goal of surviving as long as possible. Price and hardware requirements of Project Zomboid means that the barrier to entry is astonishingly low. For a surprisingly low entry barrier, Project Zomboid is probably unironically endlessly replayable. Really the only limitation is your imagination and hunger for zombie survival games. Just the vanilla Project Zomboid experience has tons of depth and complexity in of itself. You'll be sinking in hours upon hours into Project Zomboid is an all-inclusive game, and is, quite frankly, the truest form of zombie survival out there, especially when you compare it against the Indie Stone's source for inspiration. It seems, in my opinion, that Indie Stone focused their attention on the core mechanics in lieu of fancy graphics or flashy BS. A good decision if I'd say so, as doing so makes Project Zomboid more accessible to a wider audience that might not have a high-end GPU. In fact, my old PC I played on had a NVIDIA 780, and it just goes to show you that great games don't always have to be visually stunning. I mean, just look at titles such as Minecraft. Project Zomboid simply is what it needs to be graphic. But looking forward to the future, there are also updates to look forward to. Updates that can drastically alter how the game feels and plays. One example being fully fleshed out NPCs. But to speak to the other side of the coin, this game is still in early access. There have been instances of simple mechanics breaking down, some spaghetti code issues, and some overall jank and lack of polish. Updates such as NPCs have been teased or even released in past builds, but were either removed or delayed. Hopefully, with the influx of attention and by extension capital, we see quicker and more substantial updates and patches in Project Zomboid's days to come. It seems that at every point during development, the Indie Stone maximized what the player could get out of their game, granting a plethora of creative options to customize each game session. Plus, if it can't be done in vanilla Project Zomboid, the Indie Stone fully supports the modding community and provides a host of resources to make it simpler for the community to make mods. And all this sounds real nice, but there's always more to a game than meets the cover. And if you'd like to dive a bit deeper, Check out episode 2, where we discuss the developer themselves a little bit more to get the full picture of Project Zomboid. But if this was enough for you, then thanks for watching, and don't forget to press Q to administer the antidote.